Hey what's going on guys, Nick here back with another Game of Thrones recap and review, this time for Season 8 Episode 3, the long awaited Battle for Winterfell episode. So obviously this season has basically been building up to this climactic showdown at Winterfell, at least for the past couple episodes, and obviously what we saw at the end of Season 7, when the Night King took down the wall and the White Walkers were heading south. And for me, this episode definitely did not disappoint, but I do have a couple nitpicks which I'll touch upon in a minute here. So this episode opens up right with the conflict and does not let off any steam the entire runtime. We had heard a lot about this, basically it was boasted as the biggest and longest running battle sequence in any film or television show, and it definitely holds up to that name. And that was a great thing about the episode, you really get this sense of dread and tension as the White Walkers are coming down to basically wreak havoc on Winterfell, and you really get the sense that no character is safe, or at least I didn't. You know, it, it almost felt like anyone could have died at any moment, and there were definitely a lot of major bodies that hit the floor in this episode. So obviously, spoiler warning here, I'm about to get into the major meat and big moments that happened in this episode, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out and come back and we can discuss. So basically, the major deaths this episode are... Lyanna Mormont, Jorah Mormont, Edison, Beric, Dolores Ed, who's actually the acting Lord Commander of the Night's Watch at the moment, Theon, Melisandre, and, in a big twist, the Night King himself and the White Walker's army. So I think the last one is going to surprise some people, but it also shouldn't be a surprise to a lot of people. Now, the show is called Game of Thrones, but they have been teasing this whole winter is coming thing for pretty much every season, you know, they always teased the White Walkers being this major threat, but I think it's a way that they kind of subverted our expectations. They built up the Night King as this big threat, this big force, and once he finally comes down, he is defeated halfway through this final season, but I think that's a good thing. I'm glad they got it out of the way so that they could actually focus on kind of what is the point of the show, which is the battle for the Iron Throne. Because now we're going to get three full episodes with the characters dealing with the effects of the Night King's invasion of Winterfell, and how they're all kind of grieving with what happened, and the characters that were close to them that did not survive the battle, like Theon, which is a pretty major one, but I am glad that he did get to go out as a hero protecting Bran. I think that his death was a pretty fitting end for the character, and it kind of closed up his arc fairly well in my opinion. The only thing that's kind of bothered me, this is one of my nitpicks, for the episode is that Bran has kind of been a nothing character for a while, like he just kind of sits around, talks vaguely to people, and he hasn't really done anything too noteworthy recently besides kind of giving them heads up on the fact that they're likely going to die when the Night King comes to Winterfell, but ultimately a lot of our main characters remain unscathed. So overall I did like the episode, I think that it could have been a little bit better, but I really did enjoy it a lot, it was so epic to see this big fight go down and I just love the sense of scale and the fact that the White Walkers army just felt like a force of nature just tumbling through especially when the White Walkers the actual generals use their magic to kind of disrupt everything and bring that like cold wind and winter wave through everything kind of threw off the dragons took them out of the fight for a while that was really cool and I love the moment when Jon is actually running after the Night King and he brings up all the dead that have already perished on the battlefield but overall great episode really looking forward to seeing how the season's gonna wrap up drop your thoughts down in the comments below what you guys think of the episode and what are your thoughts on the Night King getting killed by Arya Stark in the way that he was for more coverage on Game of Thrones and everything pop culture be sure to subscribe to HN Entertainments